Tylenol is now officially linked with autism and neurodevelopmental disorders by RFK and the Trump administration. But what do other countries think? Health Canada recently demonstrated that they don't agree with this assumption and have actually said that their team of experts have reviewed all of the data and find no convincing evidence of an association between Tylenol and any type of neurodevelopmental disorder. Importantly, the data actually include studies that looked at siblings where the mom was exposed in one pregnancy to Tylenol, but not in the other. And then they looked and analyzed, was there an increased risk of autism in the child exposed to Tylenol in that pregnancy versus the other child from the same mother that wasn't exposed? And the answer, no, there is not. Sibling studies do not show an association. And those are the best done, most convincing studies. So based on that data and others, Health Canada is saying there is no association and no convincing data. So as one would expect, Health Canada and Canadians were a little colder on the Tylenol Association.